what's at stake? What's at stake for you, Nilly, and the people you work with in the Workers' Family, Working Families Party? What's at stake is the future. I mean, what's at stake is making sure that people can live with the roof over their head. Mm -hmm. People are still being kicked out of their homes in the U.S., and just because we aren't talking about it on a massive level as we were five or six years ago, it's still it's still happening. Um, black women are particularly losing their sons and their daughters to either the mass incarceration system or through police violence. So there is so much at stake, and when we take in um, neoliberalism and capitalism and structural racism and structural white supremacy, that's global, right? White supremacy is, is making a comeback in a really way in, 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 in situations of power. How do you answer that question, Chinsia? If I can answer this question by referring to what happened during the primaries in the Democratic Party. Sure. Um, so there we, we saw uh, what the problem was. Uh, there, there was the idea that uh, women should support Hillary Clinton uh, no matter what, mm -hmm. uh, also you know, against uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, because she was a woman and because she was representing women's rights. But this uh, precisely didn't take into account the fact that uh, we can, when we speak about the half of the population, we are speaking of uh, women living in uh, countries that have, have been bombed by the United States, uh, migrant women, uh, working class women, all these women, of course, uh, uh, have uh, needs and desires and, uh, and demands that cannot be answered only uh, by what we call corporate feminism or leaning fem feminism. They must be answered by addressing the structural problems. So, uh, precisely uh, starting from war, <laughs> in particular, mm -hmm. and imperialist attacks, but also, you know, Im immigration policies, a welfare state, and so on. So, uh, otherwise, um, these women are completely left behind. Now we